Hi tweens, welcome to another tweens devotional. Uh, my name is Felipe, I'm one of your tween leaders and it's great to virtually see you guys once more. Today we're gonna to be talking about a topic that I think we all need to hear. It's called God's protection. Now we're gonna be talking about a particular scripture, Ephesians 6, 13 to 17. But before I talk about that, I want to talk about how sometimes I protect myself, especially during these weird times that we're living in right now. So sometimes when I go outside, I put on this mask here. It's not exactly this mask. We have a bunch of other masks that we put on, but I use this mask here to not only protect myself, but to protect others as well too, who um, need some protection, who are a little bit more vulnerable. I also, when I go out, I use sometimes these disposable gloves. Of course we have more, but I have these disposable gloves to make sure that when I'm if I touch anything bad, it's being protected. Now there's other things that the Bible talks about too, and it's a cool word that we talk about. It's called the armor of God. Now the armor of God protects us from other things that are not necessarily um, physical, some things that we can touch, but some things that we can call spiritual. So we're gonna be opening up our Bibles and I'd like to invite you to open up your Bible. I have my old Bible here that I love. And we're gonna open it up to Ephesians 6, 13 to 17. So let's open up our Bibles to Ephesians 6, 17. That's 6, 13 to 17. So let's read it all together. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you'll be able to resist the enemy in times of evil. Then after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting the belt of truth and the armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes on, that comes from God of the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these things, hold up the shield of faith to stop fiery arrows from the devil. Uh, put uh, put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. So we'll stop right there. Bible's talking here about six different parts of body armor that we could put on ourselves. The first one is the belt. The second one is the body armor. The third one is the shoes. The fourth one is the shield. The fifth one is the helmet. And the last one, the sixth one, is the sword. So let's talk about the first one, the belt. So the belt is talking about the truth. The truth in knowing what? In knowing God. So we can find the truth in knowing God, and God is the ultimate truth that we are seeking for, that we're looking for. The second one is the body armor of righteousness. So righteousness is a big word, but it all it means is doing what is right. And how do we know what is right? Knowing God's word. By obeying God's word and knowing what it is, we can do what is right. The third one is talking about the peace, the peace, the shoes of peace. <laughs> the peace that we can uh, find in the good news. So by knowing the good news, knowing about how Jesus saved us and that how we're saved, we can find peace. And we, this is especially something that we need during these weird times that we might find ourselves in. Uh, the fourth one is talking about the shield. We put on shield of faith. Like Captain America has a big, huge shield. We also have a shield called faith. We have faith in God, knowing that God is here with us and he's here for us. And when God is here for us, there's nothing that can stand against us. The fifth one is the helmet that we put on. The helmet of salvation. So, uh, so the salvation is, is something that we put on ourselves for uh, like, a, like a helmet. To, and he talks, Apostle Paul talks salvation like a helmet so that we can protect our minds and our heads from knowing um, the lies and the en uh, from from listening to the lies and the enemy that the enemy might be telling us inside of our heads, knowing having this like this uh, helmet of salvation can block out any of these thoughts that we might have. And the last one is the sword, the sword of what? The sword of the word of God. So knowing the word of God, we can um, fight back all of these evil thoughts, that all these bad thoughts that we might be having inside of our heads. It brings us inspiration, it brings us truth, and it brings us life. So that's all that I have to talk to about to you guys today. Today was just a quick short devotional to talk about to you, uh, to tell you guys about. But before we go, I'd like to once again pray for you guys and uh, pray for your family. 
So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. God, I'd just like to thank you, Lord, so much, Lord, that we have this time together, Lord, to come together here with the tweens to talk about you, Lord, to know more about you, Lord, and to know how we can protect ourselves, Lord, using all of the body armor, Lord, that you've given us, Father, Lord, the sword, the helmet, the shield, Lord, all of these things, Father, Lord. I pray that us, Lord, me and the tweens and their family, Lords, can put it on, Father, so that we can fight the good fight, Lord, and combat any single bad thing that we need to combat, Lord, fight any single thing that we need to fight, Lord. So I thank you so much, Lord, and I just pray for the tweens, Lord, and I pray for their families. Um, we thank you in the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Okay, tweens, that's all for my little devotional. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and uh, see you guys in the next devotional. Bye.